Hello learners of class 12. Welcome to APPEAR, the annual preparatory program for enhancement in academics and revision in English. Learners, this is the first of its kind a course in English language for class 12 based on textbooks and your course. So get ready to enjoy the course, learn to speak, write, read English better and also ultimately score good good marks in the uh, examination. Learners, this this particular course is on reading. We, we will learn how to read and also aspects of reading and about reading. So to do this course with you learners is Heyman from the Central Institute of Education Technology and I am or Meganathan from the Department of Educational Languages in CRT. Uh, are you ready, Heyman, yes, about sir. Uh, reading? Yes, sir. Oh, fine, fine. Okay, let me begin, learners, uh, and Heyman, uh, what's reading? Sir, according to me, reading is uh, a kind of skill one should, uh, you know, uh, one should possess because we always read a lot in our day-to-day -day life and uh, reading is basically when we decode something and we try to make the meaning out of something Fine. when we read. So, we must understand what the text is saying. Fine. Okay. You said three things. I Let me take it. Decoding, meaning making, understanding. Right. So, learn, suppose... Uh, there's a word, let, let's say that, M-O-D-U-L-E, module. I am able to read, right. just to decode. If I do not know the meaning, yes. then it's not reading. No, right. Learners, when we start reading in the early years, you are, you are in primary school, pre-primary school, you actually are decoding, then making meaning. Right. So all of us now have come to class 12. Mm -hmm. So we must read for yes. meaning. Meaning so and for understanding. Uh, understanding. Yeah. So we understand. Learners, uh, this is what we are going to do through this module. Let's learn the objectives of this lesson. Heyman is telling you the objectives of this lesson. Right. Thank you, sir. So, before uh, starting with the module, let's talk about the objectives of the module. The learners through this module will be able to understand the purpose of reading, then recognize different types of text, then develop dictionary skills, that is how to use a dictionary. Be aware of your reading speed and identify factors that affect reading. And last objective is reflect and improve on your reading habits. So you started with understanding yes. what is reading. Right. Then you said that reflect on how I can improve my reading. Yes, sir. So we know that learners you are in class 12 mm -hmm. uh, and most learners in class 12 are in a way I would say crippled. Are, are occupied uh, with physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, right. commerce, many, many things, right. history. So, your reading in a way comes down when you go to class 12. So, we know that, but still you, you will need to read uh, of how, how reading can be done and how we can learn to read. Okay, Heman, uh, uh, let us let me begin by asking you a question. This is for learners also. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you read on a typical day, a normal day? Right, sir. Sir, as soon as we begin our day, we check our WhatsApp messages, we check our emails. And apart from that, when we start with our day further, we read newspapers. Great, and great. then we read work-related documents and articles. So these things are always, you know, involved in my day-to-day -day reading okay. exercise. Learners, I know that uh, no one can now escape uh, WhatsApp reading on WhatsApp. Yeah. We know that. But they are very <laughs> short texts. Some of them are even com not complete sentences. Right. Now there, there's a kind of different kind of languages emerging right. with numbers coming. Uh, uh, that day I received a uh, WhatsApp message, uh, F9. Mm -hmm. So uh, I could not find it. That, it, that means fine. Right. So the, the numeral and the in the, the letters of alphabet are making new language. We know, but still they are making meaning. So yes. you are reading something. Right. Fine. Learners, as a student of class 12, I read my science subjects, my humanities and my languages. Right. So, you reading. so I am reading. Basically, reading is an essential academic skill yes, sir. in order to learn something. Hmm in order to make meaning, conceptual understanding, then applying it. Right. So there Very are important. experts who say 
only by reading one can become a very good language user we know that mm-hmm. and uh, we have to also regret the reading as a habit is not uh, very encouraging nowadays people right. children don't read because mm-hmm. lot of visuals are sticking yes take. so uh, let me take a uh, uh, a yeah, minute let's take a minute to uh, reflect on and and let me ask you to write down uh, okay, uh, what and all uh, you read mm. okay mm. on day to day basis on day to day basis okay uh, sir two three things you can yeah so i read whatsapp messages then we read emails and definitely newspaper and uh, if we talk about um, you know as an english language student yeah uh, you will be reading textbook lessons also yeah <laughs> then, uh, that's important sometimes yeah then, then, then. we read uh, modules of our uh, you know related courses and documents and articles related to our official work fine yes sir. all right all right let, let, let's let's see some of the things day to day reading what you do hmm. could you could you tell the uh, students what, what 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 can be what are the general things children read which right. people read right sir so generally uh, on our day to day basis we read newspapers notice board restaurant menu advertisement instructions directions posters articles on social media a book some class notes short stories magazines text books application form whatsapp messages and emails as we have mentioned in our conversation okay. this, this all we know learners but some of you uh, uh, may not be reading from newspaper nowadays newspaper reading has become kind of no but, uh, different we read uh, some other thing digital newspapers right, but sir. we need to read that's the basic thing right. why because reading nurtures our mind very right okay. now what we read from what we read let's move on to why we read why we read so let's look at the purpose of reading right sir what are the major purposes of reading mm-hmm. come so, on so i'm going to ask you to tell the learners there yes sir so uh, the following are the purpose of reading the first is to look for information to complete one's homework or project okay, work i am a student yeah teacher has given some work i will look into the new textbook right. or some uh, reference book mm-hmm. then call out and make my answer right, my, my my assignment come my on assignment. then right then second purpose is for academic purpose that is to prepare for an examination and then to look for an answer to a question or a solution to a problem to look for instructions to do a particular work and like for example to prepare for biryani how to record or edit your homemade videos etc and last but not the least reading as a hobby fine learners she said not but not the least yeah. reading as a hobby that means i read for my satisfaction oh. pleasure enjoyment right. excitement right. so whatever excites you you please read take a newspaper you may be interested in cinema you may be interested in um, a sports item you may be interested in politics you may be interested in something uh, what's it um, uh, food item Now, nowadays newspapers carry all sorts of things right, so sir. please read so we have a purpose to read unless otherwise you have a purpose you wouldn't be. and one of the major purposes is reading as a hobby right. But, so that's what and uh, most of us read uh, short stories uh, stories like well, even uh, you take uh, authors like prem chand or anybody uh, raskin bond right. or, or or harry potter even if you read uh, you read for your satisfaction right. and academic uh, reading has its own purposes right. you may have to read a physics text but looking in a different manner right. that, that's what so uh, why do i read is a major question uh, learners you need to answer yourself and convince yourself yeah. in order to have a purposeful re- reading right okay now learners i know that what you what to read what are the things i am reading yes. what i ought to read means i am supposed to read right. and uh, reading short stories right reading literature mm-hmm. makes one a refined person right. i said nurtures mm-hmm. so reading is essential that's why the textbooks uh, we have uh, uh, in Uh, class ten, uh, twelve, whatever the class, we have variety of texts right, in sir. English language. Right. And and uh, learners, you must know that uh, mm, in class twelve we have that uh, Umberto Eco's uh, interview. Right. We have kept interview. We have got uh, kept short stories, mm-hmm. uh, play like thing, uh, uh, exp- uh, argumentative text, but not in bulky wala. Many many things. Right. Why? Because 
as a reader uh, in class 12 mm-hmm. as a student in class 12 you must be engaged uh, you must be engaging yourself and you must expose yourself to various kinds of, of and types of texts right. including science fiction and science itself right okay human this takes us to where different uh, different types of subject. text okay. yeah uh, we have seen what we generally read as right. common reader right means of course we are educated we mm-hmm. read something mm-hmm. plus 12 children mm-hmm. uh, from whatsapp to many many things then we also have seen that why we read right, there is a sir. purpose to read right because if i read a newspaper i simply look for some uh, news item but when i read something interests in me right. suppose as you said that how to make biryani yeah. so i will have to read seriously right. and note down things then when i cook i will apply that right. so this is a different purpose now this tells us that the language is written in different genres right. different ways we call it different kinds of text narratives right. so let's learners you will be uh, exposed to you are exposed to and you are engaged with different kinds of text right, so uh, human is going to tell you the different kinds of text with examples come on Amen. right sir thank you sir so as sir just mentioned that there are many types of text so the first one is descriptive text a descriptive text tells you what something or someone is like for example describing a house a scenery a piece of equipment in the laboratory etc then the second type is narrative narrative text narrates a series of events and includes both fiction that is novels short stories poetries and non fiction that is biographies etc okay then so major major text children will un, uh, uh, encounter these kind of narratives narratives in english language textbook even in science fiction right, and sir. real life experience right, so sir. in a way everybody is a narrative so right yeah, yeah. This, this, this. then the third type is expository text an expository text is usually non fiction informational text generally these text provide an explanation for something for example essay an entry into online encyclopedia okay we we make a case for something right so, so. for example someone uh, writes about let us see even um, how this whole thing is recorded yeah and how a school functions right. so they make some arguments also they describe right. and they make a case for something right, fine sir. all right then the next one is argumentative text an argumentative text presents opinion based on evidence and facts to prove something for example letter to the editor or post in an online forum and you can also see learners many of the articles in the newspapers are argumentative right sir. Uh, political argument or whatever the argument mm-hmm. and and it's it, the legal language is argumentative right sir. then someone makes a case for proving something based right. on evidence in his or her own way right. and you need not accept but that particular argument right. that's what amatya sen wrote uh, that book a famous book right. uh, argumentative indian he yes. talks about from time immemorial right. to till now uh, how indians have been uh, uh, making a uh, discursive uh, argument mean right. discursive uh, d i s c u r s i v e means right. uh, it's nothing but uh, discursive that argument making arguments so uh, any kind of argument right. but when you make an argument make an argument then give evidence to that right. so we also encounter such texts right mm-hmm. so and last text type is persuasive a persuasive text tries to encourage you to do something for example travel agency brochure and salesman trying to sell a product okay it's it, it, they like advertisements no someone this is the only good product you yeah. buy it, it <laughs> right. changes you kind of thing <laughs> yes. so there are not that's one trivial example but any example even political uh, political uh, party uh, what's it uh, manifestos right. then uh, some some of the suppose uh, uh, need uh, one why one has to be uh, hygienic right. so, so there uh, it when they try to con- convince you no fine right learners take a look at your textbook and see how many of these texts you find it in your textbook maybe right. some narrative texts expository some short stories uh, argumentative texts and and persuasive texts if you look at these noni balkiwalas uh, on uh, green right. uh, green piece this one uh, you will find out uh, he is trying to persuade he wrote uh, to 20 years ago 
persuade children readers to understand why you need to be careful about environment right so like that now learners you have an a task for you you have a task for you i'm going to read out the text which will appear on the screen you will have to say what kind of narrative text it is right kemen is going to do for you uh, let me read out the text you will have to say whether it is a uh, descriptive narrative expository argumentative or persuasive, persuasive text okay here it is ready yes sir it is claimed that teenagers who spent lot of time on their mobile phone lack social skills and tend to be all alone however i believe that teenagers who have many friends can also lack social skills and be lonely too come on sir after listening to your uh, this passage i would say it is a kind of argumentative text because uh, it is uh, no doubt it is a kind of opinion given by the writer but at the same time it is trying to prove if there is any link between the teenagers use of mobile phones and social skills so it's kind of argumentative uh, it makes text. an argument right sir. so it's it's, a, it's not that only uh, by uh, using mobiles they lack social skills right. but even those who have lot of friends they can also lack social skills social skills, uh, skills. right so this is the argument it's making right. now learners we have to read all kinds of texts in our academic life and social life and general general reading uh you may have a novel before you are reading sometimes the newspaper right, and sir. newspaper is a classic example of uh, all kinds of texts right sir. uh crime reporting an accident mm -hmm. uh, uh, a center page article right. and if you read the editorial it's it makes it's, most of them are right. argument arguments yes. and persuasive and giving a solution to the problem right so, sir uh keep reading now right i am a class 12 student right so how will i improve my reading what reading. are the base and means let's let's look at it uh, uh a reader is someone who interacts with the text right supposing him and i am reading a text let us say as you said argument argumentative text if i don't understand 60% of the words mm -hmm. will i able to get out of it no sir then what to do right then sir we must work on the strategies uh, through which we can improve our reading skills so that we can comprehend the text in much better way fine and learners one thing let me also tell you uh, uh, before we get on to uh, get into the strategies of right. uh, reading right um, uh, suppose i am reading a text i am unable to find uh, know the meaning of a particular word mm -hmm. i need not worry about it right try to make meaning out of the other words right the, in the sentence mm -hmm. then make make meaning out of right sir. and you should actually consult with the dictionary mm -hmm. uh, uh, needed yes. but otherwise no issue we'll see that come right, on sir. so what are the strategies for improving my reading mm -hmm. so you will have to tell the learners come on sure sir mm -hmm. so the strategies are as follows we can have a first strategy as make reading a habit and read as much as you're able to read take a break when you feel tired and get bored with reading okay let, let me stop you to tell learners so most of the time what we feel okay newspaper has come uh, right. i i have to read this short story i like it uh, mm -hmm. the author but i i i began it and left it yeah so as i will do my all other things and do that never happens right. come on keep reading bit 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 every day right, this is sir. how it makes you read and right. you rightly said If you if you if you are reading for a long time, you feel some. Come on, take a break. Then again read. Right. Come on. Come on. But you should never stop reading. Great. Then the second strategy you can follow is ensure to find a place where you can concentrate. So you should have very peaceful space to read. Fine. Then third strategy is depending on your schedule, choose a time to read every day or week, and ensure you keep to this reading time. Yeah, we should have regular reading time. Okay, right so okay okay the next is keep a notebook nearby to write down your thoughts and brief notes to help you remember the points use dictionaries or thesaurus to find out meanings fine one is i will note down right then i also will look at the dictionary look into the dictionary right come on, come on. Mm -hmm. then next is know what you are reading for especially if you are reading for a particular test make sure you understand about the test and what you will be tested on if required 
reread the text you find it difficult to understand the more you read the better reader you will become let me tell you one thing some of the uh, short stories novels i read many a time right. and poetry of course one should read yes sir time. yes sir so uh, learner once i have read it and i have thrown no mm -hmm. some of the things this is what happens with science understanding of concepts right Th that's what uh, we need to understand mm -hmm. okay. now let me also add some more strategies for or uh, uh, improve our reading right uh, a skilled reader uses many strategies right uh, here are some more recognizing the vocabulary picking out the keywords mm -hmm. deducing the meaning from familiar lexical items i said already i do not know the meaning of a particular word right. but let me see the neighboring words i should say that mm -hmm. what is making out uh, right. what you can make out of it so that particular word you understand mm -hmm. but you not, do not know the actual meaning of it later you can consult the dictionary right. suppose i am reading yeah, a text of uh, five pages so i need not stop you every time to go into dictionary right. that's one then then understanding the background and foreground information suppose i am reading about let's say physics mm -hmm. or i am reading about let's say a text on himalayas mm -hmm. so i may have some already some information some knowledge about it that mm -hmm. helps you right and then you can also uh, read uh, the background information in order to understand this text right sir. so some novels set in suppose william dolim bills a uh, novel uh, set in uh, this lost mughal right. is about mughal he, he describes this uh, during that uh, 1857 mm -hmm. the first war of independence mm -hmm. the whole thing already we may have read yeah. or you may gather some more information to read that novel then look at it understanding and the ability to determine the conceptual meaning of the text right. so you 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 have developed you are in class 12 15 right. 16 years old you have some cognitive as well as linguistic ability to understand oh this is about physics this is about biology right. kind of thing then that helps you then some of the literary devices like yeah, simile metaphor yes. so those kinds of thing mm. then above all we must also know the writer's purpose yes sir so what is the purpose of this right suppose mm -hmm. a religion based text right. a literary text a rebellious text right. or a science fiction mm -hmm. uh, so you you should know the purpose of the writer so that you go along with the text as well as the uh, the the writer and uh, also at last you should be able to have some analytical skills oh what i read is meaningful or not right. and whether the writer is actually conveying something uh, right otherwise you can discard it right. that, that's it right so sir. learners some of the strategies we have listed this is for your knowledge so that you become a kind of informed reader reader no you know there are two things i am driving let's right. say that many of us drive me you know you will uh, learn as you will be learning to drive then i know everything of driving but i also must know yeah then one minute also roads, yes in and around me so that right. my this is we call it meta skills right so to be aware of what you are reading right okay. sir human uh, and learners we have seen many 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 aspects of uh, reading so one thing i have been realizing is i do right, not sir. know some of the words Right, i need sir. to consult the dictionary yes sir and if you can make out in the text fine otherwise consult the dictionary right so oh, tell the learners how one why we should consult the dictionary right sir so can i have the ah, dictionary yeah, the dictionary is with you yeah, yeah <laughs> thank you sir and this is not dictionary it's yes. thesaurus it is yeah. thesaurus yeah so uh, as uh, sir just mentioned that if you are stuck with some word or some meaning you can always refer to dictionary or thesaurus to find out the synonyms antonyms of that particular word and you can also you know uh, you will be able to know the exact context of that word also so that you can use that word accordingly so here there are certain um, we can say guidelines to use uh, dictionary in a proper way and what a dictionary has right and what all it is containing so for example uh, if you are stuck with some word you can always look up the meaning of a word you see or hear in that then find the translation of the word in your language so here in this dictionary you can always refer to any word and then you can find out the meaning of the word uh, whatever is given in front of the main word then you can always check the spelling of a word and if the, the you can check the plural of a noun or past tense of a verb as well it is very well given in the dictionary then 
find the synonyms or antonyms of a word it is also available to find the opposite meaning or the similar meaning of the word then you can look up the collocations of a word then you can check the part of speech of a word and then find out how to say a word here in in these uh, yes uh, in these uh, dictionaries pronunciation is also given where you can check the transcription where you can check uh, where to give stress where to give pause where to give you know uh, where how to pronounce that particular word so uh, apart from having the meaning uh, from the dictionary you can always find how to use that word in a sentence so this dictionary is always containing this thing also where you can see how to use that word in a sentence that's very very helpful you know from pronunciation to what what parts of speech verb or noun then uh, it's also used in a sentence so right, this is sir. how a dictionary helps right so, sir. Uh, so dictionary is a good companion for a language uh, learner user and a reader right okay. now there is also we also mentioned in our objectives that uh, we also need to improve our speed as we become uh, uh, academically sound learners mm -hmm. so uh, learners when you read with understanding your speed naturally increases Increase. but you must be able to improve your speed of reading as you grow Right. And some of the things uh, when you re read it, I, when I read a newspaper in the morning, some of the things I skip and read. Yeah. Uh, although that also, I don't need them. Right. But my speed increases. Right. Now, what are the factors which affect reading comprehension? Come on, hmm. quickly tell our right. uh, learners. Right. So there are many factors. For example, lack of motivation, purpose, or goals. As sir mentioned, purpose is very important to increase your reading habits. So if you're lacking in that, it will definitely demotivate you. Then we, if you have difficult vocabulary in that particular text, you will not get that much of, you know, motivation to read. Then lack of background knowledge of the text. Sometimes it, you know, it also affects. Then nature of the text. If it is difficult or it is not very much interesting to you. Then the types of genre of text. For example, fiction, non-fiction or poetry. Then we have the amount of reading done. If you have read a lot all throughout the day and at the end of the day, you will definitely be tired, you know, while reading. So it will be, uh, we can count it as one of the factors where you will, uh, you will not be uh, feeling a lot of, you know, reading kind of thing. Then the environment where you are reading, your surrounding and your environment also, you know, uh, plays a very important role. As we mentioned that, uh, you should find a place where you can concentrate while reading. Okay, thank you, thank you, Herman. Okay, learners, we have uh, learned a lot about reading. That's what this module uh, uh, aimed at achieving. And let's test you. Means let's kind of assess you what you have learned uh, from this uh, discussion so far. So I'm going to read out some statements. Learners, you will have to, and Herman, you also. You yes, have to say whether you say uh, do it yes or sometimes are no. no never so okay, the statement sir. i usually find time for reading you'll have to say yes sometimes never like that some statements you'll have to say then at, towards the end let's see that how many yes you have how many no's you have how many sometimes you have that tells you we are not going to judge you reward you or award you you will have to decide yourself it's a kind of reflection come okay, on sir. reading and time management ready yes sir I usually find time for reading. Yes. I avoid picking up the phone while reading. Yes. I always carry reading material with me. Yes. I listen to audio tapes, CD-ROMs for my own development. Sometimes. Sometimes. So I have the habit of immediately making a uh, note of the usable information I come across when yes. I read. Yes, I use my phone to note down. Okay, technology. Yes. Okay. Now, reading awareness. I can identify important words in a text. Yes, sir. I read in a distraction-free environment with good lighting. Yes, right. Uh, I think many of the learners may not have this. Right. Okay. I avoid reading while listening to music. Yes, right. I avoid reading while the television is on. Right. I can't read when the television cannot. is on. Okay. Yes. I generally read or study at your desk or a table. Uh, sometimes. Okay. Otherwise, we can sit anywhere and read. Right. I am relaxed even when I have a lot of reading to do. Uh, no. Okay. Actually, you should be. I enjoy <laughs> reading. I yes. I enjoy reading, learners. You should yes. say yes. Then, reading strategies. 
ओके आई नो हाउ टू रिड्यूस डे ड्रीमिंग व्हेन आई रीड समटाइम्स समटाइम्स इट हैपेंस आई विल बी रीडिंग समथिंग आई एम रीडिंग समथिंग माय माइंड इज समवेयर यस राइट आई मेक नोट्स ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स इन अ टेक्स्ट राइट सर ओके दैट्स गुड यस आई कैन फाइंड द आउटलाइन ऑफ द टेक्स्ट व्हेन आई रीड मीन आई कैन विजुअलाइज यस I can quickly locate specific usable information. Yes, okay. right. I use my finger or pen to help me read faster. I use pen, right? Uh, is that right? To mark it? also. And that's okay. And these yeah. they are asking. Huh. You remember the in primary school we, we are asked to keep the hand yes. and the finger. I don't right. think that's correct. It yeah. reduces the speed. As a reader means uh-huh. le- so as a as an informed reader. Right. Uh, in fact, you should see the whole line and whole read. Whole line. Yes. Sir. Okay. I don't know how many yes and how many no's okay. you have done learners you calculate your yes and if you have more yes you you are a good reader you can still improve right and sometimes and uh, no's you have to reduce them and come to yes, yes. so reading is yes of course meaning making right so hemen uh, we have come to the close of this module right, learners so. uh, i know that we know very well that you have read the course material then listen to this video uh and have done many of the activities right. now apply it in your reading in your real life situations right. uh, thank you very much for patient li- uh, listening and doing the activities let right, me also sir. thank kemen uh, right, for participating so right. we'll see you in the next module learners till then right. bye bye thank you learners thank you sir